start drawing our peacock, we're going to draw a circle in the right side of the paper. Then we're going to draw a short diagonal line going to from the left side of the circle. Then we're going to draw a long diagonal line going from the right side of the circle. Then from the short line, we're going to draw a curved line that touches the bottom of the paper. If your head is too small, you can redraw it so that it fits the head size you want. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the vis video and catch up on your peacock drawing. The next step is to draw the beak. To make the beak, you're going to draw a diagonal line going from the left side of the circle and then a d straight line going from the curved line to the head. Then to make the eye, you're going to draw a smaller circle inside the head and make two curved triangle on the sides. Then we're going to draw a curved line going from the top of the head and connect those with a circle at the end. We're going to repeat that, that step two more times. The next step is to draw some bumpy lines going from the peacock's body to the bottom of the paper. We're going to make three to four rows of these. Next step is to draw the feathers. To draw the feathers, you draw a curved line going from the bumpy lines and another curved line going to the bumpy lines. Then inside those two, you're going to draw a curved triangle and another curved triangle inside the one you just drew. Then we're going to draw a bigger tri triangle with curved sides and once again draw two more curved triangles inside. We're going to keep repeating this until we reach the edge of the paper. If you want the feathers to be behind the peacock's body, then you draw the line starting from the peacock and then and then picking up your pencil and continuing the line on the other side of the peacock. Don't worry about the feathers going off the page. It just shows that the feathers are really big. After you finish drawing those, you're after you finish drawing those feathers, you're going to go in and draw in smaller feathers in between those bigger feathers. After you finish doing those, you're going to color in your peacock with pa the paint sticks or any other coloring tool you want to color them in with. If you have extra space behind the peacock, you can color in a lighter color. I finished Peacock. I colored it in with paint my paint sticks and this is how it turned out. Your peacock doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You can color any color you want. And because I had extra space in the background, I put in a light pink 
so that it doesn't look so blank. I hope you enjoy how your peacock turned out.